Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a clay bog. So you'll be given a lump of clay and you need to begin by tearing a bit off to make the eyes and the teeth from. When you're shaping the clay, only touch it with your fingertips and you don't need to worry about getting it smooth to begin with. So you can see I'm moving it all of the time, holding it with my fingertips and I'm going to make a teardrop shape. Once you've got the approximate shape that you need, you can then smooth it over just by using the pad of your thumb, rubbing over it gently. And if you get any little lumps of clay stuck to your thumb like that, you'll need to just wipe it off and put it in with the, the clay glue. So it'll probably take you a little bit longer, but it's very important that you don't hold the clay in your hand. Don't do this while you're thinking because you will just warm it up, it'll dry out and it'll start to crack. The tail of the creature that I'm making is going to be pointed, so I'll just gently squeeze that until it makes a point, smooth it over and you can see I've made the shape of the body. Right now to stop it from rolling over when you put it down I'm going to make an indentation in the bottom there we go, and then I'm going to move on to the eyes. Now I've decided to make two different eyes, two different sized eyes, because there's absolutely no need for them to be the same. Just roll it in your fingertips, or you can roll it in the palm of your hand like that. And to join clear together, because it's slightly damp, it will stick together temporarily if you place it on, but as soon as it dries out, it will fall off. So to make it stay permanently on, you need to scratch it on the back. Scratch the surface you're sticking it onto. So you can see some little scratches there. And then I'll put a little bit of this clear glue, which is just clay and water mixed together. And as you put the eye on, if you twist it into place, that helps it to grip because the clay merges together. A few scratches on there, a few scratches on there. You can see there's a little bit of wet on there, rub them on. And for the eye holes, just go and use a pen or a pencil, press it in, twist it and that stops it from pulling the eye off. If you press it in and pull it straight out without twisting, the eyes quite often fall off. Then we'll make some teeth, so just some little nips of clay and I'll put them on. I'm not going to glue this on because I'm going to glue the bottom lip in place and that will hold it. And I find it always looks best if you put four teeth on these creatures. There's the third one and the fourth. Right, that will stay for now. And then to make the bottom lip, you want a sausage of clay. See how big it is in relation to the slug. And then I'm going to nip this one edge so that it merges in. To the body. Again, you always must score clay and put a bit of water or clay glue on it. There we go. Now I'll score this, careful not to destroy the teeth. Push it on like so and if a tiny weeny bit of glue squeezes out that means you've got the correct amount. Merge it in by smoothing it gently see those little cracks there and just gently rub them in and then to give my slug some texture I'm going to use the lid of the biro pen and just go over it and give it some dots there we go almost finished and there we have the slug now before you hand it in if you ever want to see it again you're going to need to put your name on it the best way to do this is to use a flat ended tool and press in like you, you would see calculator writing. So to do an M, I'll do three presses like that and then I'll put a dot because my initials are M A G. So I'll put M A and then for a G, I'll do that that and a, a little one there and then I'll put the 
dots here and it's finished now this will take a few days to dry out thoroughly and then it'll go in the kiln and it'll be fired for another few days so it takes at least a week before you'll see this done